Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. Hope you guys are doing well today. And we're back with another week of DK videos. And uh, this time in a 17 not good offensive. Yes, we've uh, got some rating, got some gear, and we're doing some decent keys now. Did start this recording just a little bit late, um, just because the first pull was a bit manic. Um, we have a Unholy DK, Enhancement Shemi, Shadow Priest, Guardian Druid, and uh, Resto Druid. So, 17 have become kind of the normal key now. Uh, you've got kind of... I mean, Blizzard have almost defined the keys for us. You've got 11 to 15 as these heroic level keys. You've got 16 to 19s, which are kind of these mythic level keys. And then 20 onwards is kind of the, the really challenge keys. Um, I, I'm feeling very comfort, uh, confident and just happy in these 17s. I think my damage is good. Uh, and I think I've been able to basically go through and, and really succeed in these so far. Um, so we are, like I said, at the moment, we had a couple of goals, right? Our goal was to get four set. Our goal was to get an Algothar puzzle box and just some eye level in general, right? So um, as of recording this, it's been a couple of days since I did the last um, recording session. Uh, and... As of recording this, we are 402 eye level, I believe. We have our four set, although one piece is very low eye level. Um, it's I, I just got sick of trying to farm it on high keys, and I basically just did low keys to farm whatever was the highest chance just to drop me a shoulder that I could catalyze. Um, it's obviously gave me the shoulders, which is fantastic, but it is one of those things that it probably cost me around 4,000 Valor just to upgrade it all the way, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, we've got ourselves an Algothar puzzle box that is at 385 eye level, which is like 4 out of 13 upgrades. That's going to cost us a lot to upgrade as well, but I think that one is definitely worth it. Um, but overall, we're in a really, really good spot. Um, I kind of tripped and fell over keystone master so i apologize i didn't actually get that video recorded or, or that run recorded um but we did a halls of valor like 14 i think where i was just actually went in there to help someone out i tanked the run just ran through it no problems at all and it gave us like 2006 score so it just pushed us over keystone master um but six days into this character's lifespan and we've already hit it which is awesome. Just fantastic. Um, so, I mean, we're in a really, really good spot. This week I have farmed 11,000 Valor. Um, so that's... Uh, you can tell how many keys I've been running to get this character up and running. And I have loved every minute of it. Um, and going back to what we were talking about in the other videos, kind of Frost is that really nice. I've played Frost in a couple of dungeons now. I've played the Obliterate spec. I've played Breath of Syndragosa. Both of them have been really, really fun, but it's a really, really relaxing kind of environment, and I feel like I could perform at 90% without too much effort, whereas to perform at 90% as unholy, I feel like I have to put a lot more work in, but I would prefer the times that I want to push and put that work in, I can perform at 100% of unholy, or 100% of what I'm capable of as unholy, and do a lot better. Uh, so, yeah, and obviously Blood, I've jumped into Blood plenty of times already. Uh, I mean, my tank score at the moment is like 1,500, um, which considering, in fact, I think it's even higher now, um, but considering just I haven't actually focused on tanking, like, it's pretty damn good, and I feel like I could jump in and play uh, tank keys pretty regularly. So, yeah, overall, I think we're in a good spot. We have a Concentrated Primal Infusion, our second one currently in our bags, ready to go. We're not using that just yet. We're waiting uh, for Wednesday. So on Wednesday, we currently have a 20 and two 18s, the, the Mythic Plus Vaults. We also have uh, two normal raids. So I've done Broodkeeper and Uranog. Uranog? Yeah. Um just for a chance at the super rare rings or the ultra rare rings, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and the reason for that is because both of them are just fantastic. The Aeronog ring isn't great statted, but you have a damage proc, which actually is quite nice. And we can proc it fairly regularly with Dark Transformation and Unstable Frostfire Belt. Um, we also then have the one from Broodkeeper, which I think actually I would prefer, uh, which gives us a 
uh, shield. Um, dealing fire damage is a chance to give you a shield for six seconds. Now, it's also perfectly static, very, very mastery heavy, but haste mastery overall. Um, and yeah, so I'd probably prefer that ring just in general. But it is one of those things that either one at this point I would take. Uh, so I have gone and done that. We did a couple more uh, just to give us basically that extra vault slot just for a chance at it. We may take it if our vault is completely awful from Mythic Plus, but fingers crossed it's not. Um, but we have a key on, I believe we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven characters with a vault this week. Now, some of them are just like plus 10s, plus 11s, just throw away keys just to get something. Some of them, um, like my Evoker's done an 18, I think. My DK's obviously done 20s. My Warrior's done an 18. My Priest has done a 16. So, yeah, I mean, we've got some decent bolts this week, um, which is all great. Uh, yeah, so talking about the dungeon, uh, me and the Shadow Priest, we were pre-made in this, and we had a great old time trying to race each other. Um, or I was racing him, whether he knew about it or not, it's another matter, but... I was certainly trying to beat him in DPS. And uh, yeah, overall, I think when we're confident and, and really, really push ourselves, that's going to be a norm. I think we should be starting to top meters. Unholy does this thing where it's like, it's very cooldown heavy. So you'll go into one pack and pull pretty weak sort of numbers at times. And then you'll go into another pack and absolutely dominate. Um, and yeah, it's, it's not quite consistent. The Shami in this group, unfortunately, wasn't fantastic. He did die a lot. Uh, at this point, I think I've died once. Um, sorry, two seconds. As soon as I start recording, my throat got really, really dry. Um, but yeah, so like I said, it was, uh, we had a couple of issues with the pugs in this group. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, I mean, occasionally he was pumping. Like, like right now, 100k DPS is awesome. Um, it's, it's, you don't really need much higher than that in this sort of level, okay? Um, but I uh, use my army here. So army, if I play well, is under a three minute cooldown. Now, that's assuming we have pretty consistent combat, and um, I'm obviously maximizing my runic power. That isn't always happening. I'm still learning the spec. I'm still trying to max it and all that good stuff. I have actually changed my spec recently as well. So. I'm now running uh, Improved Death Coil instead of, uh, I can't remember, is it Epidemic? But basically, I've switched one of the talent points to Improved Death Coil. It gives me a lot more kind of two-target damage, and it was something I felt was lacking in Unholy's kit, is that sometimes I, if we pull five mobs, it's obvious, you press Epidemic. If you pull four mobs, you pull, press Epidemic. If you pull three mobs... So on that borderline where sometimes Epidemic is the right answer, sometimes it isn't. Um, so really well played from the tank here. There is a like 20 second kind of timer to spawning the boss. So what he did was went and go and started the RP for the boss. And then we grouped these up. Whether we intended to pull two or not is up for debate. But uh, we get diseases on everything. A couple of death and decays. Put up some cooldowns and 150k DPS, which is... Pretty dang nice. Uh, so at this point, like 16 minutes left on the key. We've already killed two bosses. One of those is, is probably the hardest boss in here, which is the Elemental. It is the boss that if you're going to get stuck on, uh, if you're going to get stuck on anything, that's the boss, right? We've also done 88% of trash. So we're actually at a point where I'm at this point not worried at all about us timing this, just realistically. Um, now, at this point, I've got my army up. I've got a couple of cooldowns up. This is the weird moments for me with Unholy DK. Like, there's no situation here where I want to press army, of course, because I want it for the boss, and that's going to be one of the next pulls. But just sitting on it feels so bad. Anytime you could have got an additional cast of army, you absolutely should. Um, and that's that's the same with most cooldowns, but with army being a like reduced by playing as well obviously it reduces your uh, every death coil reduces it by five seconds so or epidemic reduces it by five seconds so it can really really reduce quick if you're like pulling lots of mobs and 
smashing them all down. So um, at the moment, I'm kind of just ever so slightly fallen behind the Shadow Priest in terms of damage. Uh, he is a couple of eye level higher than me, and I do know him to be quite a good player. Um, but it is one of those things where I obviously want to beat him, right? Two target cleave here, so this is exactly what improved death coil was meant for. We want to make sure we're keeping our diseases up, which not always fantastic up, but um, really big burst with the army of the dead there, around 100k, no bloodlust, which is pretty respectable. Uh, already down to like the 65% mark. And uh, yeah, we just we like we should be winning single target fights, boss fights uh, as an unholy DK. It's what we're there for. Uh, we're there for big pulls and single target burst damage. Well, we've done our single target burst. We've done some big pulls. We should be winning these overall. Um, I am really looking forward to next week's keys, where I think like I'm going to press cooldowns on like a 17, and by the end of my cooldowns, the boss is pretty much going to be dead, which is pretty nice. Now, the Shemi does go down there. He tries to run over the Earthbreaker. I did as well, but I popped some cooldowns. Um, stacking them both up. Obviously, you have to stack these up anyway, so it really is a perfect fight for uh, improved Death Coil, but smacking them down. 62k overall. Uh, 62k DPS on the boss right now. We're pretty happy with that, and uh, yeah, I mean, pretty shortly, it's going to go down. We've already got the trash percentage we need for the last boss, and happy days. Now, Three minutes left. Realistically, we're not going to two-chest this. It is one of those things. Um, but it is. it was never the goal. At this point, we just want to get through the key, time it. That's obviously the ideal. If we happen to two-chest it because we've played well or we've got really good damage or whatever, then that's some else. Uh, now, again, I mentioned this in another video, but you come and tank these by the wall so you can bait the charges out. We got a little bit unlucky with the Shaman staying in too, qu uh, too close. Um, and I am actually still popping cooldowns because, like, I have Dark Transformation, 45 second cooldown, Apocalypse, 45 second cooldown, Insect Swarm, 45 second cooldown, or a minute cooldown. Um, just use them, ultimately. Like, I, there's no reason not to. I might not have it up for the start of the boss. Like, I'm not going to have an un Unholy Assault up for the start of the boss. But, oh well, never mind. Doesn't matter. Uh, now, use my puzzle box. We're going to go in, do our opening rotation, and this is one of the most heartbreaking bosses I've ever encountered. Um, especially since I was just climbing up the meters here. We've still got a couple more cooldowns to use. And the chamois positioned it, the spear in the wrong place, and the boss charged forward and despawned. That's my army just dying. I'd used my uh, unholy assault just as he was about to go up onto the wall. Uh, and... Yeah, I'm obviously not using Slappy Hands. We'll talk about Slappy Hands in a second. But yeah, really not fantastic there. So uh, going back into the fight, I am ever so slightly ahead of the Shadow Priest in terms of damage. Um, get the Spear, which means we want to... Again, if you've got a mechanic like that, as you're running out, make sure you've built Runic Power up so that you can spam those Death Coils and really catch, like, keep up on DPS. It's not too bad of a dps loss if you're only running out for a couple of seconds like here i didn't have enough to cast another death coil that was bad um about 60 percent we're going to go into the next phase and the plan was here so what i discussed so i was going to stand to the left of the boss pop slappy hands and i was expecting that i would grab in the two close ones with slappy hands and i would manually grip the two furthest ones with death grip um, because the left far one didn't get gripped in, the priest uh, decided to mind control it, which threw me off a little bit. I was trying to click it and death grip it, didn't get chance to, and I end up dying. But combat res up, bosses through the intermission, and at this point it's really nice and easy. Um, actually really well tanked in this, so first spear going to go behind the rock, and then we're going to go run away. Uh, the reason for this is we want to drop all the gunk away from the rock, which, like, we are here. Um, and then we reposition it back in front of the rock so that we can do the same mechanic again. This is me getting my army back up, but we're so far into the fight, I haven't got other cooldowns to pair it with. It's going to be really hard for me to recover overall here. Again, pull away from the rock, drop the, uh, drop the gunk away, and boss at 15% health, we're... Uh, pretty close to killing it anyway 
It's actually a little bit closer of a timer than I thought it would be, but I think the boss resetting kind of had a lot to do with that. And uh, yeah, we're going to get it down and easy 17. Overall, just beaten by the Shadow Priest, 65k, and yeah, so happy days. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.